In these challenging times, when the spotlight is on education cuts, we are delighted to note that special provision for children on the autistic spectrum remains unchanged. Children on the autistic spectrum vary enormously in terms of their behaviour and learning ability. The condition is often misunderstood, with people forming opinions based on myth rather than fact. The autism classes in our school allow the children an opportunity to engage in the curriculum at their level. It provides children with um, specific teaching methodologies that will help meet their needs. Accessing adequate education for children on the autistic spectrum at primary level can be a bewildering process, but the provision is there and when children enter the system, their needs are well served. And since he started here three years ago, we've seen huge leaps in his social skills, his uh, academic skills, He's a much, much happier, much more rounded child. You can see massive progress on all kinds of levels, academically, uh, socially, his confidence has increased. Where the system fails is in secondary school provision, with not enough dedicated units available for the children who will be filtering through from primary school over the next five years. This is due to a combination of factors. Chief among them, a misunderstanding of what autism actually is and a lack of information on how an autism unit can be successfully integrated into a school. And the presence of the autism units in our school has allowed for collaborative planning between the special classes and the mainstream school. The teachers in the, in the orchard are quite a resource pool for the mainstream teachers for not only children that are mainstreamed full time with autism but for other pupils with learning needs. Although the number of specialised units catering for children on the autistic spectrum at secondary level is limited, there are some very successful programmes in operation, providing an excellent model for others. Grange Community School is one of those schools. Our autism unit in the Grange Community College is called the Garrett Suite. It was set up in 2009 and it was funded by the VC and the Department of Education and they sent in architects and builders and basically this whole room here was the old staff room and it was gutted out and completely rebuilt from the inside and decorated. It is up to us as members of society to reach out to these vulnerable and isolated children and give them the helping hand they need to play a positive role and find their place in society. James has just thrived since he's come here because now he gets to go to secondary school like his brothers and sisters. The main benefit we found with Gavin was that he is now mixing among his peers because he's moved into second level. But when he came into Grange Community College, he can do a lot more activities like sport, PE, metal work. Hi, I'm Gavin. This is my junior searches project. Actually great having Gavin in the class. He wasn't any different to anyone else. He just got his head down, done what he wanted to do, what he was told. And if you need assistance, you need to ask Mr. Barney, one of the students, or the helper that's with him. Like, if you talk to the students that, that were in this classroom, that were, he picked it up very quickly and he had a, he had, he had a talent for it, he, he had an enjoyment to doing it. He's completed a junior cert and he received an A. With the diagnosed cases of autism on the rise, children on the spectrum are entitled to places in their local secondary schools, regardless of the provision the school has made for them. It is in everyone's interest that we at least consider catering for their needs. I would appeal to all principal teachers and their boards of management to consider seriously opening up dedicated units in their schools. It is vital that units such as these are provided in secondary schools. It would be beneficial for any school in the Dublin area or in anywhere in Ireland to look at the idea of having an autism unit in their school. I, I'd say to principals who are looking at this that, that they should firstly recognise that they're going to have students coming into their schools who will need provision. They should prepare for that because they're going to have to deal with the issue anyway and they should embrace it with enthusiasm and I think they will find it enriches the life of their school. For the 10 years that I have been associated with the, the units here, I have never encountered any difficulties in relation to the placement of children, in getting resources to provide a proper education for them and the training that we have received from the special education service has been second to none. This is an issue which affects us all and therefore we appeal to you to consider implementing a programme in your school.